President Donald Trump is attacking critics of his China strategy. He tweeted today, he said, they have tried to handle it before and failed miserably. In fact, they got taken to the cleaners. We are doing very well with China. The Business Roundtable says the US and China need to get back to the negotiating table to avoid further escalations. Rich Lesser is the chief executive of the Boston Consulting Group, a member of the Roundtable. He joins me now from New York. Did not last week expose just how difficult it is to have any form of certainty in, with, with such a mercurial president? I think the uncertainty has gone on for longer and been more intense than people expected. I don't think anybody expected a negotiation between the U.S. and China to be an easy thing. So that was pretty understood. But I think, I think the uncertainty and volatility that we've experienced have started to weigh on people and certainly weigh on businesses, which is experiencing that uncertainty, which it originally chalked up to just tough negotiations as something that might really lead to tariffs and a trade war of some duration. And I think it's starting to affect business confidence and investment and potentially the planning for investment looking into the new year. Uh, are your clients actually telling you, do you know, we'd like to do this deal or we'd like to build this factory or do this expansion, but we're just not going to do it now? I think our clients are just staring at a world with uncertainty around the world. You were just talking about uh, what's going on in, in the UK a couple minutes ago, but, but I think as it relates to China, I think our clients are looking at that and it does create more hesitancy about knowing how to think about investment looking into the new year and even consumer confidence, which has been the bedrock in the, in the US economy and the spending that it's led to, you start to worry if the tariffs flow through, if farmers continue to be hit quite hard, that, that it will really start to sap the energy on the consumer side. So yes, I do think there is an impact of, that this uncertainty has in wane on thinking about investment into next year. Many believe that it is just about inevitable that the next round of tariff increases will take place. I suspect you're sort of uh, hoping that they won't, but expecting they will. So what are you going to tell your clients? How do you tell them to navigate this? So, so I'm not sure any of us can predict what will take place and what won't take place. If there's been one learning over the last year, it's trying to predict is, is a really difficult challenge. And what we have been saying to our clients and what we continue to say is you need to think about today's world from the standpoint of um, flexibility and adaptiveness and realizing that the world we're in means you have to have some no regret moves and understand the direction of the world and prepare for that and at the same time uh, be ready to to um, uh, respond aggressively if something really does get locked down and something like tariffs really does hit. Rich, um, I, I'm not trying to take you into deep political waters, but you, you've got enough management experience and consulting experience. When the president says, as he did at the G7, questioned about the this on the one hand and that on the other hand, he said, that's just the way I negotiate. Is that a sound way to negotiate? We'll only know looking backwards. It's certainly not the way that I think world leaders have negotiated with each other over, over many years. And I think in particular with China, um, many who have negotiated uh, have felt that doing so much in the public domain and making it feel like such a win-lose situation in public has not been the way to move things forward productively. Now, the president has, has certainly been driving that hard. It hasn't yielded uh, an agreement to date. Uh, I think there's a lot of concern about where it will take us, but, but I don't think he's likely to change. We, we, I think he's been very clear in the, both his actions and his words, and then we'll, we'll see how it plays through. But I think it is concerning. I think it is raising genuine high levels of uncertainty, certainly on the business side, certainly in the agricultural community, and so far not so much on the consumer side, but maybe some early signs, uh, hopefully not. As I said, that's been the real bedrock around the economy here.